Sawyer hollow fiber membrane water filters are revolutionizing how water is treated all over the world. They're fast, extremely effective, sustainable, and millions of people are drinking, cooking, and cleaning with water from the Sawyer filter every day. Sawyer's hollow fiber membrane water filters are comprised of U-shaped microtubes that allow water to enter into their core through tiny micropores while trapping the bacteria and protozoa on the outside. The high volume of tubes creates an enormous surface area which results in a very high flow rate and less cleaning. Sawyer filters offer the highest level of filtration available today. Each filter is certified for absolute microns. That means there is no pore size larger than 0.1 micron on the filter. This makes it impossible for harmful bacteria, protozoa, or cysts like E. coli, giardia, or bacteria that cause typhoid or cholera to pass through. Assembly is quick, easy, and requires no technical training. Your kit comes with the following items. A screw on off 0.1 micron filter with a push pull cap, hose with female bucket fitment attached, filter hanger, male bucket fitment, rubber o ring, backwash syringe, drill bit or hole cutter, and a backwash instructional sticker. First, you need to find a container to attach the filter to. It can be a standard 5 gallon bucket, trash can, 55 gallon drum, or any plastic food grade container. Avoid containers that previously stored chemicals or paint. First, use a drill bit to cut a hole about one and a half inches from the bottom of the bucket. You can do this by hand, but if you have a power drill, that will speed up the process. After cutting the hole, make sure to remove any loose pieces of plastic, as these could lead to a leak in the seal. You want to keep the hole raised at least one and a half inches from the bottom of the bucket in case the water is turbid or muddy. This allows the dirt to settle on the bottom of the bucket rather than going down the hose. Next, take the male fitment and insert it through the hole on the inside of the bucket. Place the rubber o-ring on the male threads. Then screw the female fitment onto the male threads. Then take the filter hanger and slide it up the back side of the filter screw the filter onto the hose and hang it on the side of the bucket. If you're using a larger container like a trash can, you want to use the kit with a three foot hose instead of the one foot hose. You'll need the extra length to hang the filter on the side of the trash can to turn the filter off. Sawyer filters will remove harmful pathogens from any freshwater lake, stream, river, well, borehole, contaminated tap, or rainwater. In addition to filtering out all the harmful bacteria and protozoa, the filter will remove the turbidity from the water. However, the more turbidity you can remove prior to filtering, the better. Ways to remove turbidity are pre-filtering with a cloth or t-shirt, or allowing the water to settle so the sediment falls to the bottom of the bucket. The turbidity will not harm the filter. It will just slow it down and you will need to clean it more often. However, the more often you clean your filter, the better. Cleaning frequently ensures a fast flow rate, and it also reduces the risk of dirt or clay hardening inside the casing, which could be harder to backwash. To start the flow of water, first open up the drinking spout on the filter and simply lower the filter down. The greater the distance from the top of the water to the filter, the faster the flow. That is why you can get a lot more water out of a filter that has a longer hose and is attached to a taller container. You also want to make sure the top bucket is vented. So if you're using a lid, make sure and cut a small hole in the top of the lid. If the top bucket is not vented, a vacuum could be created inside the bucket because there's nowhere for air to escape. This will slow down your flow rate. To turn off the filter, simply hang it from the side of the bucket and then shut the drinking spout. Avoid letting the filter dry uncleaned. This can happen if you allow the bucket to drain overnight. If this occurs, clean the filter first thing in the morning or use hot water to loosen up any stubborn clogs. Since these filters are 0.1 micron absolute, they'll never reach a point of failure where they'll allow harmful bacteria to pass through. They'll simply slow down or clog, which means they need to be cleaned. Sawyer hollow fiber membranes are rated up to 40 PSI so you're hardly challenging the filter when it is attached to a standard 5 gallon bucket that produces about 2 psi with one foot of tubing attached. Since the fibers are so robust, you can backwash them with high pressure and restore them nearly to their original capacity. First, you want to reserve a pint of filtered water, then use the included cleaning syringe to suck up some filtered water.
Next, make sure the bucket is empty and remove the filter from the tubing. The drink spout can be removed and you will find an opening to insert the tip of the syringe. You always want to backwash your filter outside away from your clean water source. A good place would be into the dirt where the sun will kill off the bacteria or into a latrine. The first syringe full of water you force back through the filter you want to be the most forceful so you don't create paths in the fibers that water will flow to on following syringefuls. You want to repeat this process several times until the water coming back through the filter is clear. This screw on off filter can also be used attached to a standard water bottle, attached to the Sawyer squeeze pouches, or attached to a faucet with a faucet adapter accessory. You can also attach multiple filters to a larger container for even higher volumes of water. It is best to keep your filter, backwash syringe, and components out of direct sunlight, as UV rays will break down the components over time. So when you're not using your filter, keep it inside and protected. Always filter water into a decontaminated storage vessel, or else you run the risk of recontaminating the water. Make sure to wash out the containers you are using with soap or bleach on a regular basis. You can also remove the drink spout from the filter and wash that piece regularly, in case dirty hands have been touching it. We do not recommend backwashing the filter with dirty water. If this happens, immediately run at least one quart of water through the filter and dispose before filtering water for consumption. The frequency of backwashing is dependent on the turbidity of the water. It is recommended that you backwash at least once per day and before long-term storage. If you are filtering very turbid water, you can typically get 5 to 10 gallons of water through the filter before backwashing is required. The flow rate of the filter is determined by a combination of four variables. Head pressure, which is the distance from the top of the water to the filter. Altitude, the higher the altitude, the slower the flow rate. How clean the filter is. And the filter itself, since there are slight variations between the filters. The 0.1 micron filter attached to a standard five gallon bucket with a one foot hose is capable of filtering up to 295 gallons of water per day at sea level. While we have no evidence that freezing will harm your filter, we don't have enough proof that it will not. So we must say that if you suspect your filter has been frozen, to replace it. This is especially true with a hard freeze. No, the filter will not remove chemicals, pesticides, or heavy metals. It will remove bacteria and protozoa.